Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see uh, this is King Kone B8 Smart Relay Controller and it's a channel version of Smart Controller made by ESP32 S3 and also it's for home assistant used by ESP Home and the product KCS V3 and uh, so that you can use home assistant and use Tuya application and use King Kone Cloud Server and use Tasmota and use Apple HomeKit and Luxa Mini Server very different protocol support by this controller and also you can write your own source code by Arduino IDE and ESP IDF and in this video I will show you this hardware details and how it works with the different software solution okay let's look at the hardware details firstly okay let's look at this is King Kone B8 uh, it's 8 channel version so you can see uh, this is in front of the box and this back and also support install on the ding rail and you can see uh, this have a channel menu country button so this button you can control relay directly without software without firmware so that if the network or the software is broken so this menu country button also can work work well okay let's look at and you can see uh, this have a sound terminal and this is external antenna for this is for Tuya antenna and this have external antenna this for ESP32 S3 and you can see the LED indicate for Tuya and for power and Tuya config network button and this is really output uh, this is it generally and this is calm and this is normal open so every really have two points uh, for output and this is free GPL you can see uh, this uh, three free GPL and also you can see there are some free GPL uh, just uh, this have the pull up resistance and this you can see USB-C uh, for download firmware and this have a uh, two button inside of this at, at here uh, ESP32 download and ESP32 reset at here uh, have two button inside of this space and Ethernet part and this one you can see that have used by DC12 uh, power supply and this socket also is removable you can see uh, this is removable socket you just can uh, connect with your wire easily and this one you can see for channel analog input uh, this is for voltage and this is for current different kinds of uh, analog sensor and as for it find mode bus protocol A and B and digital input for dry contact signal H and digital input at here okay so you can see uh, let's test it uh, with our software i have connected with this terminal and this terminal have connected with 12 volt uh, just to use this this is 12 volt power supply so you can see i connect with this power supply and i have not connected ethernet not connected any communication way so you can see i can use this menu control button uh, for on and off relay because this relay without software so you can see uh, this is top level for security emergency to use uh, turn on and turn off relay uh, by this menu control button and i have already downloaded the kcs v3 firmware so uh, you can directly to use or you, you can download the new US firmware by this USB-C cable so now I connect with the Ethernet cable and this will work with the DHCP mode as default network mode so wait for a moment you can see the Tuya is online and this, this is IP address of the Ethernet and also I can connect with this Wi-Fi antenna for Tuya just you can see uh, like this for example like this so this can work and uh, let's back to my computer and put this box at here okay let's back to my computer and let's look at what software solution for this b8 you can see this is a web page uh, b8 and the hardware resource at here and uh, some different uh, documents you can esp set to ilp file uh, ESP Home YAML file and Arduino source code demo code on the KCS V3 and also you can visit uh, this content you can see in our form that have a B8 or have resource have listed here now we can log in the KCS web page because this IP address should in OLED display 
before. And we can see uh, this B8 uh, that have the, some information at the index web page and the import menu and the output menu and the sensor. You can see the sensor. The sensor you can you can see uh, different sensor you can configure it here. And the monitor you will see what protocol have used. Uh, I have connected with Kinkoni Cloud Server and Home Assistant by MQT Delta Discovery and uh, Tuya. So, and this one, you can see FDDT, uh, you can set the input and the output with the FDD command by yourself, just by this window. Uh, I think you can uh, see this window before. And the network, set the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi and the Forge. If you have installed the G1 Forge module, you can set this uh, for Forge module for FDDT. And this protocol, you can see the general protocol. Uh, King Kong Cloud Server have enabled MQTT Discovery and MQTT on Cloud Server and HTTP, UDP and TCP and IS485 you can enable which one you want to use and the customer size protocol you can see custom size protocol for if or for Zen command and Apple HomeKit you can enable or disable which, which resource you want to uh, use for Apple HomeKit you can just enable and rename by yourself and this is Luxon mini server and you can see you can integrate to Luxon system by UDP command the UDP protocol should at here so that will be easy to for Luxon integration and this is Tuya and set the Tuya product ID and the system you can set the RTC clock and the RTC time and the date and also you can see you can restart factory setting by this one okay let's back to the monitor and we can look at you can see this is KCS just used by web browser in local network so this is the first way you can see turn on relay 1 until relay 8 and turn R off and turn R on and R off and the next we can see that have a King Kony card server so you can see in our Kinkoni Cloud Server, you can add many Kinkoni controller to this Cloud Server, your, your Cloud Server account. So this have should be 8. I can refresh. And now you can see the B8 is online. And click. And also you can see these two channels have already on because in KCS, I have turned on this channel 1 and channel 2. So you can see, turn on 3 turn on 4 and turn on 5 and also we can shut for DJ import you can see the import 1 and you can see uh, this is import 1 and this is ground so I shut for these two points and you will see uh, this have turned green if I shut uh, this channel 2 import digital import 2 you can see uh, that have turned turn green at here Okay, so this can monitor sensor state just uh, used by drag contact signal. Okay, this is KCS Kinkoni Cloud Server. And now let's look at MQTT just for Home Assistant Auto Discovery. So you can see in our Home Assistant dashboard and click setting and click device and click device. And you will see uh, this B8 list at here, this B8M and this B8. And also you can see this channel 1 to channel 5 have turned on. You can see the state is seen. So you can see I can turn off, turn on, turn on, turn on. This all 8 channel is on and the KCS all is on. And the King Kong Cloud Server all is on. So the, the state is updated. And also you can see the sensor state. Uh, the digital input and the analog sensor at here and then next uh, you can see let's look at this Tuya application okay you can see this is my mobile phone uh, this is Tuya Smart and this is Smart Life both application have supported by B8 I have entered the Smart Life and you can see there are many King Kong Smart Controller should in this Tuya account and this one you can see here are King Kong B8 just this one and I can enter and you will see the state also is all on because this is all on so you can see I can click turn off turn off turn off 
turn off, turn off, turn off, and turn off, turn off. So you can use a Twitter mobile phone application. You can see, you can turn on and turn off. So this also will update the state in Home Assistant. Okay, so this is Tuya remote control by internet. And also if you have support of Tuya, you can use Google Home and Alexa speak uh, for voice country. Okay, this is the software and the hardware details of the B8 smart controller. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.